Well, crude prices have been volatile as tensions escalate in West Asia on mounting supply concerns. Now, Mihike is joining in with the details on the movement of crude prices and how, of course, it has impacted the markets. Brent crude prices are on an uptick. Oil prices are actually up 4% since Monday. They saw an intraday high of 3.5% on October 2nd at 76.14, an intraday high of 5.13% on October 1st at 75.45 per barrel. Now, when you talk about why they're rising, well, it's the escalated um, conflict between Iran and Israel. The initial trigger was actually Iran filing, um, firing 200 ballistic missiles at Israel on Tuesday, its largest ever such attack, and risk rise as Israel PM has vowed to retaliate the attack. Now, when you talk about the importance of these two countries in the oil market, well, Israel is not a major oil producing country, but Iran produces 3.2 million barrels per day or 3% of the global output and is the third largest producer in the OPEC. But when you talk about if the oil supply, global oil supply is at risk, well, OPEC has had enough spare oil to compensate the full loss of Iranian supply. Um, we have like around 5.6 million barrels per day of OPEC production that has been halted currently and the organization does um, aim to bring this back starting December 2024. Furthermore, US, US is pumping at pumping 13.4 million barrels of oil per day and this is expected to rise. But yes, the 4% uptick, we did see an impact on the markets. We did have ONGC that gained in early trade um, up about to an intraday high of 1.8% and this is because higher oil prices are positive for the company's realizations. But we did have the Indian oil marketing companies, HPCL, BPCL, IOCL, Sink Cuts, HPCL saw an intraday low of over 6% because higher oil prices are negative for the oil marketing companies companies as it contracts their um, marketing margins and HPCL, HPCL saw the highest cut because they have a higher portion of the marketing segment in their total revenues. Well, the unrest in the Middle East is likely to have impact on oil prices affecting global markets. Peter Maguire talked about how the issues are likely to create uncertainties globally and uh, the impact will be played out in the coming days. Well, I think that that's the, we've been down this pathway before and this really creates much angst from a supply side if there was to be an attack on those Iranian fields. We all understand geographically where they're positioned in the Strait of Hormuz on the Persian Gulf and the impact that that would have to shipping and of course all the crude that flows through that region. So this would derail in a lot of ways, a lot of crude being exported globally. So there's the first part. And the second part is a war premium would be quickly built into price and that could add five, 10, $20, depends on the severity of it, very, very quickly, if not more.